Well, when I was in the band called Southbound Six, this was my miscellaneous percussion bag because I was the miscellaneous percussion person. This is the hat I wore. Biscuit stuff. the frog. Most of the audiences were very intrigued with the frog. Isn't that neat? Sounds like a frog. And he stores his 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 drumstick in his throat. And then and here we have, oh, here's one of these. Never liked them very much. I always felt like a wimp just standing there going like this. And then I'd lose track of what I was doing, I'd lose the beat. So I wasn't very good at that. But here we had, oh, here's a kazoo. <laughs> kazoo quality isn't very great, and theirs aren't very good. Here's a guess what that is. And now we have two Jaws harps. This is a soprano Jaws harp and this is an alto Jaws harp. And there are maybe ones smaller than this, I don't know, and there may be ones larger than this, I don't know that either. And this one, the alto Jaws harp, is that what I called it? Is a little bit floppy and you have to be careful you don't get your tongue in, in there. But you hold it like this and you put your Put it against your teeth. Now the smaller jaws harp, which I call the soprano, one is much easier to play, and I don't know whether that's just uh, an individual difference in one and another, regardless of the size, or or whether that's true. And the bigger they get, the harder they are. It also says on it. Well, not doesn't also say. It says on it, made in Austria, and this one says doesn't say that. Maybe that's the difference. You can do it with your thumb. It's not good to talk while you're doing it because then your tongue gets caught. Or you can do it with your finger. And the guys I saw on TV were doing it like this. But I do it like this. <laughs> and now we're going to play you a little song we wrote. One, two, three, four.